Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today I need to really pause the other video that I've got going in the background. <laughs> okay, today we are going to make a set of bracelets similar to these that I have on. So it's just three um, strands with some stretch magic and a few little charms and some noodles right here. So these are super simple and fun to make, and I am using products from the August 2020 Bargain Bead Box, okay? So I had a bunch of beads left over. Um, now these rondelles did not come from the Bargain Bead Box. These are actually on my website, whoops, if you're interested in them. There they are. They're real pretty. They're sparkly. They're called Snowcap. And, um, but everything else here, yes, everything else here came from the Bargain Bead Box Beadwise. The bead caps did... Um, this toggle end did, and all of these things down here did, right here. So all of this is from the Bargain Bead Box. The only thing I'm adding in are the noodles, these three noodles, um, these rondelles that I just told you, and this charm. And of course, I've got some stretch magic. I have some jump rings in a couple different sizes. I have three crimp beads because I crimp my stretch bracelets and a big eye needle. These are from the bargain bead box this month, these little spacers. And then I have some head pins. So that is everything. These are really fun and easy to make. So I prefer to have longer noodles like these right here, but I didn't have any longer ones in gold that were big enough around to hide the crimp bead. And this is where the crimp beads go in the noodles. So I'm having to work with little teeny short noodles this time. So I'm not real happy about that, but you know, it is what it is. So um, if you want to make this with me, get your stuff together. And I do have a couple bead bugs here that I'm going to use on the end of my stretch magic to keep everything from falling off. All right. So for the first layer, the first, let me move this out of the way because that we're not going to need for a minute. Okay. So I'm going to put my bead bug on the end. This just keeps all your beads from falling out. You can get these at Joann's or Michael's. I've not seen them at Hobby Lobby. That doesn't mean they don't have them. It just means that I have not seen them there. Um, you can also buy them online like Amazon has them. I'm going to thread my big eye needle, which should definitely not be as difficult as I'm making it be right now. Goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I'm just going to start stringing on my beads how I want them to go. So I really wanted to use some of these sparkly little rondelles in here too. And I'm going to see if they will go on my needle, on my stretch magic. So I'm going to go ahead and string on this first row here and if you can tell I'm just mixing up like each level I want each row I want to make sure it has some of each of the colors so gray white and I'm going to add some gold in here um, probably with these little spacers so that's what I'm trying to that's kind of my uh, what I'm trying to accomplish is to carry over the gray gold and white into each layer and yay that rondelle fit so we're going to do a bicone and another rondelle. And I may actually pull out some little gold spacer beads because I think that would be good to incorporate in this row right here. So let me do that really quick. Let me pull out some little gold spacers. And hopefully, yeah, I did that without making too much noise. <laughs> All my boxes of everything are stacked on top of each other. So... I was afraid it would make a big crash, but it did not. I'm thankful. Okay, so let's pull out some. Yeah, I think these will kind of pull everything together. I really wanted the gold, white, and gray all in each row. So let's go ahead and string these on. I am. Let's see, I might do a couple bicones. So the pattern I'm doing is bicone rondelle, bicone rondelle, and then a gold spacer. So we've got bicone rondelle, so we'll do bicone rondelle and a gold spacer bead. I have a really small wrist. My wrist is like five and three quarters inches. <laughs> so I always have to be really careful not to make things huge, you know, way big on me. I tend to do that, and then none of my bracelets fit. Bicone rondelle. 
Cone, Rondell, and a little spacer. I love these bracelets because you can wear them with this showing on top, or you can flip them, put that to the bottom, and wear them. And I love these white lava beads. I thought they were just gorgeous. They came in the Potomac bead box, best bead box this month. So Bicone Rondell, Bicone Rondell, get on there, and a spacer. So I don't know if I mentioned this, if you're not familiar with Bargain Bead Box, it is a monthly beading subscription service. You get about $65 to $70 worth of product. You get findings. You get beads. We usually get a couple gemstone strands in there. Um, what else? Charms. I mean, just all kinds of good stuff. I love it. Um, it's my favorite beading subscription service that there is. And um, they also have a store, which has really good prices. And then you get 30% off coupon when you sign up to receive their monthly subscription box and you can use that coupon over and over and over all month long so 30 percent off all month long it really really is a great deal okay so now i'm down to i have this one agate bead left <laughs> that's the only one i have left and these big ones so i'm going to go ahead and put this one this agate and do i want to put no i don't i'm just going to put them on plain i was going to say do i want to put spacers between them but i don't think i do Okay, now let me measure this because like I said, I have a freakishly small wrist and I don't want it to be too big. So what have we got here? We've got about four inches and I still need, I've got to have enough room for my noodle and I would have to repeat this whole pattern, which would make it like eight inches. So that's going to be way, way too long. So I'm going to take off some of these rondelles and, and bicones. Okay, here we go. So I should have measured this before while I was doing it, but I got busy talking. So let me see how many inches this is. This is two and a half. Okay, so that's better. Let me go ahead and put my big beads on for the middle. And then I will do the other two and a half inches on the other side, which will make it probably come down to being right about six inches or a little bit more by the time I'm done with the noodle and everything. Actually... I may add another bicone and a rondelle just to be safe. I don't want to make it too tight. Sometimes I get them too tight. Sometimes I get them too loose. I never get, I just never find the happy medium, <laughs> it seems like. Okay, so I'm going to do a bicone rondelle spacer. Then I'm going to do my bigger beads. So I've got these big, these two are the only two left of these big ones and the agate. That's all I had left out of all those. Okay, so I've got this. Now I'm just going to repeat this pattern down the other side. So I have a spacer, a rondelle, and a bicone. I thought these colors, I know the theme of this month's, month's box was elegance, and I do think they're elegant. I think they're beautiful. But I also thought that they looked kind of beachy. Um, just the whites and the golds reminded me of sand for some reason. I don't know. I really really did like this month's box even though I'm not usually a huge proponent of gold but I thought it looked really pretty with the whites and the grays okay so I have spacer rondelle bicone spacer so I need bicone or rondelle bicone rondelle and there is a little bug that I just saw crawl on my bead mat up here it is not a spider so I'm not freaking out and it's a little beetle bug or something. And as long as it doesn't get on me, <laughs> I will remain calm. <laughs> if it decides to get on me, you guys might see a show. <laughs> I don't mind bugs. I mean, I don't like them, but I don't hate them unless they're spiders. And I hate spiders. <laughs> All right. So spacer, rondel, bicone, spacer, rondel, bicone, rondel, bicone. Spacer. I'm just repeating the pattern backwards on the other half of this bracelet so it turns out even. But it's kind of hard to keep track of where I am and watch this bug. 
Okay, so Mondo. Bicone. Rondell, and thank you to everybody who prayed for my neighbor's daughter. She is home, safe and sound, but their family needs a lot of prayer. <laughs> They're really, um, you know, teenagers can be a handful, and she is definitely being a handful for them, and she is only 13, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Facer bead. And then we've got Rondell by Cone Rondell. I said to my coworker today, I said, I'm so glad that my kids are grown. We live in such a volatile world right now and such a terrible world for teenagers to have to grow up in. I think, um, I really am glad that my kids are, you know, Landon's only 18, but Logan's 22 and I'm just glad they're, they're older. I think it would be a scary world to have small children in, to be honest. Whoops, I'm having trouble with this little spacer. It does not want to get on there. And you saw me fold it over here. I just folded it over like this. It makes it just, if you can line it up like this, it makes it easy to see what you've done and what you haven't. So I need a rondelle, bicone, rondelle, and bicone. And then I'll have the same things on both ends. Rondelle, bicone, rondelle, and bicone. And little beetle bug went somewhere else. I don't know where he went, but he disappeared. So he went the other way. Okay, so here's what we've got. Now, let's see how long this is. It is six and a half inches, so by the time I get my noodle on, it's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to scoot this down, take the bead bug off, scoot this down a little bit. All right, now, here's how I do this. Let me scoot these out of the way a little bit. All right, so we're going to take our noodle. And we're just going to thread the stretch magic through the noodle and out the other side. There it comes. Just like that. Now, we have to remember to put this on. and <laughs> Put this big um, ring on. And it doesn't matter where it goes right now. Just get it on there. And then you want to take your crimp bead. Probably going to have to use your big eye needle for this. And put, your, put it on your stretch magic. Okay, so just like this. We're just going to thread the crimp bead right on. Don't send it up into your noodle yet. Just thread it on there. Right about like that. And then you're going to take your big eye needle and put it on your other end of your stretch magic. I'm having issues with this needle. There we go. This is a little fiddly, but you can do it. And we're going to take it and we're going to crisscross it the opposite way through the crimp bead. So just pull it. Well, unless it comes off your needle, which is not what I wanted it to do. So we have to put it back on there. And we're going to thread it this way. Through here stay on there this time thank you very much okay all right so then what you will have is you'll have your crimp bead with your um, stretch magic going both ways okay so we need to pull this fairly tight and it's kind of hard you got to keep it from going up in your noodle <laughs> but you do want to pull it fairly tight because you want it to um, you don't want it to be loose on you okay so just make sure you have it pulled tight and then you're going to take your pliers and just crimp it. Just flat down crimp it. Crimp it good. Okay. Pull on it. 
make sure it's tight. Now, you can tie this if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple knots just for extra security. So there's one regular knot, and then I do a surgeon's knot, which means you go through your loop twice. I don't know if this is really how surgeons tie knots or not, but it's called a surgeon's knot. Stretch it, and I'll give it one more surgeon's knot for good measure. And if you want, you can put glue on it, but I don't always do that because the crimp is pretty. The crimp's going to hold it pretty good. And then just cut it. Okay, and it'll go right up in your tube there, your noodle. Okay, so then I'm going to put it on, and it is absolutely perfect. This one fits me perfect. Okay, and look how little it is. <laughs> I have such a small wrist. Okay, so now we're going to do our second layer. So, same thing. Grab your Stretch Magic. Put your bead bug on. And put your uh, big eye needle on there. Okay, now this row, I'm going to use these can't remember what kind of beads what these are they are maybe agate I don't know some sort of gemstone but I'm gonna use them and some of these little what you call it um, what do you call them bead caps <laughs> <Good Lord. laughs> yeah it's been a long day I uh oh it's been a long day and these bicones here I actually um, left work today and had to go over to the church for a meeting so i just got home a little bit ago and i'm kind of scattered i'm just like my brain hasn't had a chance to really rest and relax from all of the activity today okay so i do want to use some of these bicones because like i said i'm wanting to incorporate the white the gray and the gold in every layer okay so let's go ahead and let's see how do I want to do it I don't have a whole big bunch of these beads left these uh, round ones these agates or whatever these are so I think I will start with a couple bicones down here on the end okay and then I'll do an agate A couple bicones. I'm going to do three bicones in between because I will not have enough if I don't of these agate beads. I don't have enough of them. Okay. So I'm just going to do three bicones, agate, or I guess these are agate. I may be wrong. The round bead. Three bicones round bead I may run out of bicones three bicones I seriously might I think I'm going to that's not good we'll see how far we get with it and then I'm going to do a bead cap agate bead bead cap agate bead okay I had more agate beads than I thought I did I really didn't need to stretch the bicones so far whoops I forgot to put that a bead cap on let me get that back off of there but I mean I think it's gonna it'll be fine anyway so let's do this bead cap Sagate bead. And I may go back here in a minute and take some of those bicones off. This bead cap. This bead cap. The agate bead. And last bead cap. Where's it at? Right here. And this is the last one. I like these bead caps really well too. They fit the beads good. They don't look like a hat. <laughs> Which I appreciate. Okay. Um, so I do have quite a few of these left. Let's see. Let's do I'll probably better do three bicones before I put that guy on Let's do the three bicones 
rounded three bicones. Yeah, I may not have enough bicones to do this. Three bicones. A round bead. And then I may have just enough. Three more bicones. <laughs> I think I might be missing one. It looks like it. So three more bicones. Let's do this one. Okay, so let me compare what I got here. I got three beads. Yeah, I am one bicone short. Exactly. One bicone short. So what I will do is just take one off the one off the other end. So we'll go actually how long is this? Let me measure this and see if I have enough room just to take them both off the other end because yeah, it'd be about, well, no, I'll probably need them both. Okay, or need one on each end. So I'll go ahead and I'll put this bicone on this end. I'm going to take this one off. And how long does that leave me? Six, just a little over six. So I'm going to go ahead and put an agate bead on each end. So one there. An agate bead on this end. Let's do this one. Just like this. Okay, now I'm going to do my noodle. So, what you got to do this time, put your noodle on, just like this. Okay. I don't want this one to be too long. I'm trying to make sure. It looks a lot longer than this one. They're measuring about the same, I think, but I am going to go ahead and take these two agate beads back off. I don't want to take a chance on it being a lot longer than the other one because then they don't hang right when you've got them on. Okay, so let's put the noodle on. Alright, now what we have to remember to do is put this through this uh, ring. And I didn't do this when I made this other one that I have on. So I had to improvise. But I'm going to put it through the ring. And then we're going to put our crimp bead on and crimp it just like we did the other one. So let me go ahead and get this on here. These big eye needles are kind of a pain, but you really... I can't get through the crimp bead without them. I have to have them to get the crimp bead on here. Whoops. Okay, so go ahead and put your crimp bead on. We'll go through this end because it'll be easier. Oh my goodness. I just realized I don't have my glasses on. That's part of my problem. Let's go ahead and get this one on here if I can. There we go. All right. Just get it right on there, but don't put it through your noodle yet. So just kind of lay it there. Okay, then we're going to take this end. And we're going to go through the crimp bead this way. Just like this. I'm just trying to come out of my other one, I think. Now, make sure it's through this ring, okay? Your whole thing, and then pull tight. Just like you did last time. And then crimp it down. Make sure those weren't my cutters, because that would be really bad. <laughs> okay? That just crimps it all down, and I'm going to tie a couple knots. Your regular knot, a surgeon's knot. Another surgeon's knot. Okay, 
you pull them tight. Cut it off. And get it right up in your little noodle, just like that. Okay, so now we have two. And you can put your noodles around where they're even. You don't have to at this point, it doesn't matter. And then your little thing, we'll fix them here in a minute to where they stay. Okay, we're gonna do our last layer. So let's put our bead bug on. Our big eye needle. All right, and we're gonna start with a rondelle and a pebble bead. These pebble beads are from the Bargain Bead Box too, and I thought they were so pretty. Really did like those a lot. Rondelle. I'm gonna do two rondelles and then a pebble because I don't have as many pebbles as rondelles. Okay, then we'll do the pebble. Now, I want to put a couple spacers in here. So let's, oh, you know what? Let's do this. This will look better. Sorry, guys. I'm going to take this back off for a second. Where I do the two rondelles, I'm going to put the gold spacer in between them. Just because I'm trying to carry the gold up into the, you know, I want to have it in all three layers. So we'll do the spacer and then the second rondelle. And that'll give it just the hint of gold in there and it'll be enough to tie everything together. And we'll put the pebble bead. Then we'll do rondelle. Spacer. And rondelle. And pebble bead. Okay, just like that. Rondelle. Spacer. Rondelle and a pebble. I'm going to do this until I run out of the pebbles because I think that'll make it just about long enough. Rondelle, spacer, rondelle, pebble bead. Rondelle. Spacer, rondel, and pebble. Okay, rondel, where are my spacers? Spacer, rondel. Pebble bead, and then we'll do a rondelle, and see how long it is. Uh, it may not be long enough. Let me check it out. It's about five and a half, so I need to go a couple more. So I'm just going to do a rondelle, spacer. I've got more of these rondelles over here. A ton of them. Rondelle, just like that. And then over here on this end, I'll do the same thing. I've got the rondelle. Let's see if I can get this on without the needle. Spacer. Come on, it almost went on there. There it goes. It says I've reached my maximum memory. I'm gonna try to finish this really quickly. Okay, so we're going to put our noodle on. Noodle, noodle. I'm going to make sure you put it through this thing, this ring right here. Okay. And then we'll do our crimp. See if I can do it without the needle. I doubt I can. Might be able to get it on this side. Yeah, that side went on, but now the other side I'm going to have to have the needle for, I'm sure. Which it's already on there. So. 
put it through the crimp this way. Pull them. Okay, take it up real tight. Crimp it. And tie it up. Okay. I'm trying to hurry because I know this is probably not going to record much longer. Got to delete some stuff. I should have done that before I started this video. All right. Cut this off. Get it up in our noodle. All right. Now. We're going to put the noodles together, just like this. We're going to bring our ring around to where it's on top of the noodles. Oops, I got one flipped over. There we go. Yeah, bring the ring around where it's right on top of the noodles. Okay, so bring this around where it's right on top of the three noodles, like this. Now, you want to make sure these aren't crisscrossed over, okay? So, I want to get them laying even, and I want the noodles even. And what I'm going to do is when I get these even and the noodles even, just like this, then I'm going to take a jump ring. Make sure your noodles are even. That's the thing. You want them to be even. And then I'm going to find a spot in the bracelet that I can put this jump ring on. And it helps for me to take the noodles and lay them across my finger like that. Then go to a spot that's kind of smaller, like you've got smaller beads, and you're just going to jump ring the whole thing together. So I think I might do it like right here. Okay, and you take your jump ring, and we're just going to jump ring the whole thing together beside these bigger beads. And the reason that we do this, if I was on camera, now wouldn't it? The reason that we do this is it just keeps the bracelet kind of laying together so you're noodles don't go everywhere okay so see that see how I just jump ring the whole thing together right there and my three noodles are still here together and I can do it on the other side too if I want to so like if I wanted to jump ring it right here I could and I think I will you don't have to do this but I like to do this because it keeps the noodles from flopping everywhere open that up And see, I'm on this side, so I'm going to go right here on this side and do it. And if you do it by where the big beads are, it won't, um, the jump ring won't slide through. And it'll just keep everything in place. Okay? So just like that. You don't have to do that if you don't. It kind of makes this um, bubble up right here. Or you could do it down a little more, but I like to just because it keeps these all together. And then when you put it on, you can't really tell. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really show it too much. I don't know. I guess it kind of does show. It gives it a little of a focal point there, actually. But this is what I like to wear on the top as the focal point anyway. So, I don't know. It just keeps everything kind of laying evenly. So, there's your little noodles. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to make our little charms. So, I've got... What do I want to use here? I need another of these sparkly rondelles. There we go. Okay. So I've got a few head pins here. Now this is the elongated bicone out of the bargain bead box. And I'm going to put a spacer bead. The elongated bicone. And another spacer bead. I think. I kind of like that. Just like that. And then I'm just going to make a little dangle. Where's my cutters? Okay, 
this and we'll cut it. And then just make a loop. That was a big loop. I'm still getting used to these. Um, these are on round nose pliers. They're really good, but they, where I used to have to always be down at the very end of my um, pliers to get a small loop, you don't, I mean, you get a micro loop if you do that now. <laughs> okay, so let's use, let's see, let's do a bicone and a rondelle and a little spacer, just like this for a dangle. You can make as many dangles as you want or as few as you want. Okay. This one I'm just going to hook on with a jump ring. And then I think I'll do... Maybe, oh, I did have, that was my last bicone, wasn't it? I was looking for another one. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do this and this. And one more here. That's kind of cute. I may even, may even add some spacers here. Like, oh, I know what I can do. I can use these little rondelles. That'd be cute. Yeah, there we go. Okay, just like that. Okay. Okay. Alright, so these are the little dangles I have, and I'm going to put them right on, right on here. I'm going to put some of them on here, and some of them on here. So let me grab some jump rings. And I think the dolphin I'm going to put right in the middle. I'm trying to find my other chain those pliers here. I'm not using my round nose pliers to open and close jump rings. <laughs> yeah, this is, it is better to have chain nose pliers. Okay, so the dolphin I'm going to put right here on the ring, on the ring of the toggle thing. I don't really like to use toggles for bracelets because I feel like they fall off. I don't feel like they're very secure as a clasp. So um, I use them for other things like this. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I'm going to hook these other guys on here. Just floating around the ring like this. There we go. Alright, so here you have it. I'm going to put it on. And like I said, I like to wear it with the um, noodles and the charms at the top. So instead of at the bottom, like this, I've had this one on all day with the noodles and the charms up here at the top. I just think it's really cute. So there's two versions of it. Like I said, I, I prefer to have bigger noodles like these, but um, I just didn't have any big noodles in gold, but I think it turned out really cute anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm gonna get off here and get some stuff done and I will see you in the next video. Bye.